Hi, uh, welcome to the Sound Test Room's uh, overview of the Cold Micro Stations uh, software editor. If you looked at the uh, first video for the Micro Station, you'll know how I've got it set up. Okay, so this is the editor software. It's incredible. It, you might as well have a great big synth with a screen stuck in front of it, uh, a bit like the, the Kronos or the Oasis. Um, if you've got a computer, a laptop or whatever, then you're, you're good to go. Simple, easy instructions to set this thing up. Uh, and once you're in there, you don't need to actually touch the micro station at all or trawl through the uh, quite complex little tiny screened menu. Okay, so this is the first screen you're sort of presented with. I don't know how well you can see this, but you'll, you'll get the basic idea. You have... Uh, it, kind of emulates what's on the microstation, this top part here. So you have program, combi, uh, utility, and then you can browse through either. So if we select program at the moment, we've got a deluxe electric piano selected. So we just click on browse there. Uh, then it comes up with all the sounds that are stored in the microstation, but it also lets you choose by category. So if we select the keyboard category, for instance, uh, which we're already on. So let's choose a different one. Let's choose synth category. Okay. Let's and then we can we can try out all of these sounds and there's uh, there is absolutely loads and loads of them as you can see. Well, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Let's choose the first one, which is power pad. Now this won't load this up, but but you will be able to play it. Uh, <laughs> Different one, uh, sepia waves. Okay, uh, another one. You get the cool thing about this is you can actually see the sound. So, okay. Uh, so basically, once you find a sound that you like, you can click OK and that sound is then loaded up there. Then you can go through all the different things, you can adjust the basic settings, that's uh, the key zone for that particular sound, the oscillators and pitch, the filters, the amps, the LFOs, uh, the uh, effects mix and stuff and how it's rooted. Uh, the really cool internal effects processors, you can load up to five effects per, uh, per tune, uh, per, per sound, sorry. And then you've got the uh, multi effects and the master effects. So if we go back there, that's basically how the program system works. You can uh, also, the cool thing is, you can go through all the different common features and the arpeggiator controls. Okay, so each uh, sound will have an arpeggiator set up. And click on arpeggiator there and play a chord. <laughs> It's not the best sound to use this in, so let's just click off that and go to browse, click Dino EP, click OK. Okay, let's switch the arpeggiator on for that. And okay, I'm playing nothing there, so I'm just holding down the chord. Okay, so you might not like that, uh, so we can change the arpeggiator here. Now if we click on the particular arpeggiate pattern, we're brought up with all the different, you can also uh, program all your own arpeggiator stuff in as well. Okay, so if we choose, so this is this one. Okay, let's choose a different one. Different one. Okay, this one. Okay, so that's basically the programs, and you can see how cool that is. There's just zillions of different arpeggiators, patterns already programmed in for you. Let's slip on over to Combi. Now, this will give you the combination settings. You can, in the combination, you've got 16, up to 16 sounds. Uh, you can control from here the volume uh, of all the different sounds that they've got loaded in. Now, you'll see that they've got A piano, A piano. A lot of these are just dummy dummy channels, so you can, you can change or reload another sound in there if you want to. But for instance, let's just have a quick listen to this one. Okay, now let's switch the arpeggiator on for that. And the latch. All the latch does is holds the arpeggiator. Okay. So we've got 
stop that running and see if we take out the drums. Okay, so say we didn't like that particular drum kit. Click on there. And these are all the different uh, drum kits and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's change the electro kit. That's how you can basically change the electro things combination. If we want to browse through all the different combinations, we'll just uh, click on browse and it's exactly the same again. Select the combination, you've got keyboards, strings, guitar combinations, bass and synth split. So for instance, if we wanted to go, oh I, Club Korg, click on Club Korg and let's see what that sounds like. Disco there. Uh, let's choose another one. Okay. Okay. So again, it works. We're, we're happy with that. Let's we'll click OK, and then we can see what they've got in here. Okay, so then we can change uh, different sounds or we can add new sounds. We can also decide exactly where this wants to go on the keyboard. You can also, um, once you're in combination, you can control how the arpeggiators work. So one arpeggiator will control the drums, another will control uh, maybe a chord sequence. It's entirely up to you. And you can select it on or off for any of the sounds. Um, timbers and patterns, again. Uh, you can choose how they play, if they're off, if they're global. Key zone, you can choose where a, a particular sound wants to be. And again, uh, effects routing, you can see. Also, just as a, as, as a quick one here before we finish, if we wanted to change the uh, that particular effect there, IFX1, click on there, and there are all the different effects that are loaded into the microstation. So uh, basically that's uh, the overview of the MicroStation editor. Obviously you can go as deep as you want, you can change the sounds, you can program sounds in, all the sounds are stored. Uh, you have a, a stack of storage space in the MicroStation or you can uh, write new ones and store them to, directly to the SD card. Okay, that's um, the Sound Test Room's overview of the MicroStation software editor. Thank you very much.